you for coming this afternoon. You're taking the first step towards reclaiming your parental rights. I'm a parent, just like you. I'm Canadian, just like all of you. I have three precious children. I'm very, very concerned about their future. I'm concerned about your children's future. I have two points to make today. The state does not supersede your parental rights. Do you want, do you want residential schools for your children, your grandchildren? No! It is a slippery slope. It is a very slippery slope. Reclaim your parental rights now. The state does not exist to tell us what is moral. Parental rights are being eroded, dismissed, and ignored. We need to take back our very important position as first educators. You are the expert on your children. It is very dangerous to allow, to allow the state to co-parent our children. We must, we must do everything we can to take back our rightful role. There is too much we are giving up. There is so much we are going to lose. Take back your rightful position and duty for your children to impart your values and your culture. You, the parent, you matter. You matter more than you give yourself credit for. Your children desperately need you. Studies and good research consistently shows parents matter for their children in every facet of their lives. Do not be pushed around by the state. Your family is unique. Do not leave it up to the state to determine what is best for your child nor your grandchildren. They're the future of Canada. And my second point, from coast to coast, and listen up to this because sometimes people don't fully grasp this. There are case after case of isolated incidences where ideologies are being pushed in our schools, spitting in the face of Canadian law. Special interest groups and individuals are pushing their agenda under the guise of sex education. In any other context, these activities being pushed into classrooms across Canada would be deemed illegal. Would you accept your a girl guide, scout leader, camp counselor, or Sunday school teacher giving your child, your grandchild, a pamphlet on S and M? Would do you find that acceptable? Are public schools above the law? It is alarming to hand over the task of parenting and to turn a blind eye to illegal activity involving precious children. Will the Honorable Stephen Harper please take a stand? Please stand on guard for Canada. Stand on guard for your children. Stand on guard for your grandchildren. Thank you for letting me be part of this event. And surely, next, this 